What is going on? How's it going? Happy Friday. We are here. We are playing Super Metroid. I hope you enjoyed my uh, uh, custom-made Super Metroid intro. That wasn't the real intro that you saw just then. That was something I did early, uh, late last year. Uh, enjoy your lurk, Penny. Thanks for uh, stopping on in. Thanks, Spaz, for redeeming first. How you doing? We're, uh, we're switching games now. <laughs> Already. Thank you, Spaz, for the massive blast, Symphony. I, I appreciate that. It's always good to get one of those, like, in the beginning, because, like, you know, you got to get that energy in. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're great now because you've gotten it all out. So I uh, hope you're doing well, man. I uh, hope you've had a good week. Glad that it's Friday. Uh, we finished Mario RPG last week, so we, uh, we're we going to play uh, Super Metroid, um, a game that I've played many, many times and I really, really love, but I seem to always find new things or get lost uh, when I play it, so let's just jump right in. Hopefully I sound okay. Hopefully it looks okay. No problem. Enjoy your lurk, Spaz. Greatly appreciate it. The last Metroid I always like this part. In captivity. The galaxy yep. is at peace. Magna has missed it, though. First battle of the Metroids on planet Zebus. I think I used to call it Zebus, though. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. I'm trying to adjust my mic. I can never get it back to exactly how I like it. Yeah, this mic stand's not great, but it does what it does what it needs to do. I next fought the Metroid. This is kind of cool because it's showing you a recap of Metroid 1 and 2. So I like that quite a bit. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. Now this actually does happen in the second game. Which I also played in the, the remake, uh, Samus Returns for 3DS, which was amazing, by the way. Amazing. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Cirrus so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. Snarky Sharky plays welcome in and also congrats on your affiliate, right? Right? So did, did I see that correctly? Sorry, I've had I, I get so many Discord uh, notifications. I want to make sure because I know actually a lot of people have gotten affiliate. So please, hopefully, I did not prematurely say that. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm looking once again. Please tell me I'm right. Yes, yes, that's what I thought. I knew I saw it. I was uh, congratulations again. Lurk playing D&D, going like, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, D-Gon. Yeah, sorry. You guys have the same... Uh, you guys have the same color... Uh, for your name on the in the chat. So I, I get confused sometimes. But thank, thank you, D-Gon. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're playing some Super Metroid... We're gonna play this maybe for two or two hours or so, and then we're gonna switch probably over to Elden Ring and get my ass kicked. Space Colony. Thank you. Have fun playing D and D. I've ne I've never uh, I've never played before. Oh no! I gotta change the controls. This is not how I like my controls. Hold on. Oh no! Can I not do? Oh, I all right. Don't. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna save that here. Um, I just don't have exactly how I like it set, but that's fine. But uh, how how are you doing this evening, uh, Snarky Sharky? I think I'm gonna call you Sharky though, if that's okay. Have you ever played Super Metroid? 
Or really, really anybody, if you're in the chat. Have you ever played Super Metroid? Well, why does it... It feels really slow in here. I don't know why. Okay. I mean, granted, this game is pretty slow. Like, by design. Which is kind of cool. This is so well, well made, this game. Here he comes. Oh look, a free Metroid, just for me. However... Oh no! It's Ridley! And I can't beat him. There's nothing I can do. This is like a perfect intro. This isn't even the best part, though. You know, we have, we, fight, we fight Ridley, who does appear in the first game and is kind of uh, Samus's rival, you know, arch enemy. Ah! All right, this is the best part. Here it comes. Self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. We have one minute. We'll watch. Like, look at these effects, the, the environment, the atmosphere. It's great stuff. This is the best part coming up here. It's going to start to turn. Actually, not here. In the next, the next time we go up. See, this stuff is not actually hurting me. It's just delaying me. Yeah, right here, watch. Look at this, this is cool. Like, how can you not appreciate this? Tilt, tilting and stuff? And they give you more than enough time to get out, but. Planet, Zebus, Zebus. I, I think I've always said Zebus. Here we are. We. There's just something very comfortable about the Super Nintendo and its graphics, where, which I did not get in the the Genesis. I feel like this handled the games better, but. All right. Oh wait, let me save because I need to. Well, can I go back? Can I change the controls from here? I don't think so. I need to go actually back to the... But I cannot... I will not be able to get used to these controls. Basically, uh, fire is mapped to X and jump is mapped to A, which is not... Which is not what I want. So we're going to hop... We're going to hop back out. We're going to reset it. Then we're going to change the controls. Um, do it right here, right? Yeah, right, right here. Controller setting mode. Okay, so we need shoot to be Y and jump to be B. Perfect. All right, so we are in the first part of Criteria. All right, now we can, now we can explore. It doesn't even tell you where to go, which is the best part. And you can go left, you can go right. It's not like left to right, or right to left only. It's everything. Like, what's down there? Nobody knows. Can't even get down there yet, because we don't have a morph ball. We're very weak. Look at, like, Samus's sprite is incredible. It's like, what's in that door? We can't get in there. We can get in there. But we can't progress forward. Like they give you these little, like, 
Well, you know, nuggets. Little peaks around the corner, but they don't quite give you everything you need. Now, the cool part about this right here, in the first game, this is actually Joe 64 bit rolling in with the morph ball. Very well timed morph ball. Thank you. How you doing, good friend? Also, let's do a quick, uh, Quick shout out to Joe 64 bit. Um, I know he's playing some Minish Cap, which is an amazing Zelda game, probably really underrated. Uh, very tired, how about you? Uh, well, it is, yeah, it's pretty late for you, isn't it? Um, I'm, do I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Yeah, just glad for the week. Kinda come to a close, get to the weekend. Um, got some house stuff that we're, we're dealing with. Um, if, you've, if you've ever played Metroid 1, this is actually, this location in Met Super Metroid, this is where you fight the Mother Brain in Metroid 1, which is su super cool that they, like, kind of call back to it, because... I guess it's t it tells you that the kind of the planet has changed. And the terrain has changed. And, like, you've kind of, you've fought, you basically fought Mother Brain, like, on the surface. I, I love those little touches. And then, <laughs> which, <laughs> that reminds me... He you said the same thing in in your uh, in one of your videos. I love little touches. One of your clips. Mor oh, they call it the morphing ball. They didn't call it the morph ball here. <laughs> yep, they are the best, aren't they? Um. Damn. Yeah, we had pizza for dinner because Pizza Friday's always Pizza Friday. And, uh, it just makes me so thirsty. All right, so we have the Morph Ball. We don't have the, uh, we don't have the, I swear there's a uh, power-up somewhere around here. We don't have the bombs yet. So Joe, when I, I peeked at your your stream a little later, it looked like you were playing something else. Um, how far have you gotten? Uh, have you progressed a lot in um, Minish Cap? Do you know? I, I couldn't remember how many hearts you had, but uh, I think that's a kind of an I would say underappreciated uh, Zelda game. I think that not a lot of people talk about that. Air Dad's missiles. I love this fanfare. Yes, I'm in that version of the Ice Dungeon. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember that. I kind of remember that. It's been a while since I played that. I wouldn't mind. That's kind of one of the reasons. When I saw you playing that... Um, oh, the Droplet Dungeon. When I saw you playing that, it it kind of um, made me think of getting a, an emulator for... Because I'm on Mac, so everything's a little bit different. Um, also, Mac always seems to have limitations or like roadblocks with OBS or like when I was telling you like Elgato has issues with it um I can't without like a plugin I cannot uh do desktop audio like I can do browser audio fine but like actual desktop audio so like say if I was playing an emulator on my on my computer to transmit the, or to, I have to install a plugin just for the, I can't get that yet, um, for the audio to come through, which is just annoying. More missiles. <laughs> so you can't just add the input capture as a source. No. It it requires this uh iSoft audio plugin which is a just kind of a clunky setup. So that's why I haven't when I do emulators, I'm actually playing this on the uh SNES Classic. So that's fine. I could just it's basically just my capture card is the one that's doing the um 
the capturing or you know the the, the audio as well whereas if i did if i use an emulator i don't actually need the capture card so yeah it's 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 a it's a biatch um and then with the elgato it has this issue it, it's audio again oh no um there's an issue with audio again where the audio would just not without this like additional driver it wouldn't play properly or it would like just cut out every it wasn't even like consistent it would just cut out like for 20 minutes and it would come back for 20 seconds it would cut out after five minutes and i was like nope i'm not even gonna deal with this so that for a while i wanted to uh stream games and i just didn't because i didn't buy a new one so i bought like a 30 dollar one and it works fine and then i gave that one to b rabbit then it works fine for him so because he's on pc so yeah, Mac always gets kind of left behind on some things, but I have to, I, I'm kind of, I kind of need to use Mac for my work and for video stuff, so that's what I do. Yeah, it is indeed shit. But I think we'll, um, we could probably get that browser working and do more emulation because I really there's a lot of GBA games. Yeah, something to do with HDMI signal. Yeah, it's it sucks. Um, but looking back, I mean, GBA had such a good library. Um, when I worked in the video uh, at a video game store, we sold a ton of GBA games. I mean, GBA was selling well into the DS life. Okay, we could go this way now. But I don't have the bombs yet. Okay. Metroid's one of my favorite series. I think you I think when we had first met you, Joe, you were playing I want to say you were playing Metroid Prime. Um which is an amazing, amazing game. Um, I played through Metroid Fusion on, on stream. That's another classic. Oh my god, yeah. Metroid Fusion is incredible. Incredible. If um, Did you say you played Dread or you haven't played Dread yet? Yep, was Prime when we met. Yep, that's what I remember that. It was a uh, funny story about Prime with me. Um, I originally did not want to play Prime when it first came out. I like kind of boycotted it. Um... Okay, so that's good. Yeah, there are obvious connections between Fusion and Dread. Tata, welcome on in. How are you? I am doing well. Real quick, let's give a quick shout out to Tata. Plays games. Uh, speaking of Metroid Dread, Tata is, is playing Metroid Dread currently. So feel free to give her a follow. Follows are free. How you doing? As you see, we're playing Super Metroid. Oh, of course. No problem. No problem. Uh, I was just telling Joe, uh, I actually boycotted Metroid Prime when it came out because I hate, I'm not really good at shooters. And um, I was like, there's no way. And I was, you know, I was only 15 at the time when it came out. So I was like, there's no way. There's no way they can make Metroid into a shooter. But then I, when I finally, like, you know, got past my own uh, stubbornness and played it, I'm like, oh my god, this is not a shooter. This is a first-person adventure game, and this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Like, I'm pretty. When I played Metroid Prime for the first time, I, that that was in like maybe the top five of my like best games I've ever played, um, and I haven't played it. Oh, it is absolutely amazing. And I'm, I'm glad you're doing well, Tata. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here for quite a bit tonight. I think we might do a couple hours of this, and we might switch over to Elder Ring for a bit and uh, get my ass kicked in there. Um, but I did play a tiny, tiny bit of that off stream. And uh, I did get something that I wasn't able to get before, so that's good. Now, can I go? Oh, I can go down this way. Oh, what happened? 
I feel like the uh, the morph ball emote that I have is pretty uh, fitting for for playing a game like this. <laughs> Joe rolled in with the morph ball emote. That particular emote is the style from uh, Metroid Prime, though. Yeah, I remember thinking when I was playing that, I was like, how did they nail... I think this thing comes to life and starts to fight me. Like, how did they nail... Just getting Metroid... Like, the exact same Metroid feeling into 3D, and they just... They, they nailed it. Oh, no! Oh, shit. I shouldn't have, uh... Not really much you can do here. Oh, I, I can I can shoot these things. He's falling apart. <laughs> Whoopsie is right. <laughs> yeah, get those more balls out. Oh my god, he doesn't have a head. I would say it's been about, it's been a little bit over a year since I played this. I did play this, um, but like I was telling Joe, there's, there's things I always, I always miss, so. Like, I don't think I'd, I'd ever be able to speed run it. I, I'm not really a speed runner. I, when I say not really, I mean, I'm not a speed runner. Um, I do appreciate it though. I feel like I'm not sitting up straight. Right. I, oh, I was like, oh, I do have the morph ball now. So you notice there's like, more, like you get, you get more stuff, and then more enemies come out. I am definitely not a speedrunner. That's okay. I think there is a, um, there's value in the let's play. Um, it was actually something that Joe brought up that I totally agree with, and I didn't even think about it until uh, until he mentioned it. Was I watched this this guy on YouTube called uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd, but it's al also his name is James Rolfe, and he he runs a channel called Cinemassacre, and he used to do this thing called uh, James and Mike Mondays, which I really liked. Um, that's kind of the atmosphere that I would like my streams to have. You know, of course we can bring in chaos and fart noises and all that fun stuff. Um, any time, but for the most part, you know, this is like kind of the vibe I'm going for. You know, just chill. We just chill. We play a game. We're not. I'm not trying to speed run it. I'm not trying to. Most of the time, unless it's a certain game, I'm not really going crazy about getting everything. So, some games, yes, like Metroid, um, Metroid Dread. I got everything. Yeah, Joe knows. Yeah, it's, I was really sad when they stopped doing it because I, I used to watch it every Monday. Um, but then, you know, Mike, he went and he's, he does his he does his Twitch now. I don't know if you've ever watched his stuff, Joe, but he's on Twitch, obviously. Oh, that's right. I don't think I can get past this part yet. Oh, I know what this is. This is that... This is just that room with the gold thingies. With the Ridley and the... Yeah. Until we beat all those guys. Yo, Brain. How's it going, my, my friend? Nice job on the stream earlier. I think you're a natural, my, my dude. I'm looking forward to more of your streams. You know, uh, Joe, uh, James from Cinemasker, James Rolfe, he's he's actually from uh, the area in which I live. I mean, he's like 10 years older than me, so I don't, I don't know him or anything, but he's from this area, uh, the Philadelphia area. So he has appeared at, um, there's been some local like video game, um, I wouldn't say expos, but like uh, there was this thing called Nerd Mall that they did. Um, he appeared there a couple years ago. So he seems like a cool dude. He's also, you know, he's a filmmaker. So I, that's that's kind of why I 
how I got into him. Um, and, uh, he, you know, he created that character. He also, there's also, like, another guy online that, uh... Yep, basically, like, South Jersey and Philly are, like, synonymous. Um, it's all, it's all kind of the same area. So, like, I'm from a suburb of Philly, but it's South Jersey. You know, 15 minutes out of Philly. Um, but I know there's, like, another guy who does, uh... Who does, uh, like, an angry video game character. Uh, that's one reason why Mike could not do the Mondays. Yeah. Hey, Maxi, welcome on in with your favorite emote. How you doing? And yes, this song is a jam, Tata. 100%. Hope everyone is enjoying their Friday evening. It's been a long week. I got another long week next week. I just realized I haven't used a single bomb yet. Oh, I only have three. So hold on. I can't kill that yet. There we go. Uh, where do I need to go, though? He got more decorating to do. Hey, well, I have to, um... I have to drain a pond in our backyard for the second time. Because <laughs> we drained it last week got all the fish out and delivered it to a guy two hours away um, to, to rescue them, basically, because he was the only one in the area, and we didn't want to kill the fish. And there's still there's still some frogs in there that we need to get out. Um, we just weren't able to. But it rained really hard last night, <laughs> and we still had the liner in there, and it filled up again. <laughs> so, we're going to go back to Lowe's and buy a submersible pump again. And uh, we're going to drain it, and then we're going to put the submersible pump back into the... We're going to clean it off, put it back into the box, and then we're going to take it back. <laughs> Again. Been playing a lot of Jeopardy with brain boxers. Hey, I love Jeopardy. I love Jeopardy. All right, so I can't go this way. Uh, Little Maxi, do you do you guys watch Jeopardy as well? On on the tele on the telly. Like, it always wants to... It always wants to crouch for some reason. Yeah. Brain, you should, uh... <laughs> Keebs, welcome in, my friend. How you doing? And yes. Somebody, uh, Lil Mexi in here, uh, is playing Jeopardy with, uh, with Brain Boxers. Her, uh, her beloved. And well, I was just asking if she watched, uh, if they watched Jeopardy in, uh, in real life, you know, on, on the television. Damn, he's following me. <laughs> uh. Give a quick, uh, shout to, uh, to Keebs. I was speak, I was talking about speedrunning earlier and how I'm not a speedrunner. I, uh, I believe, uh, Keebs, are you, are you a speedrunner or just a randomizer? I could, I couldn't remember if you did both. Um, all I know is I'm not good at that stuff. Uh, I've never seen it on cable. I'm open to watching it, though. It's on... So, Mexi... <laughs> I can't even think about... <laughs> oh, 
I'm not. Okay, hold on. Let me catch up on chat for a second. Uh, Lil Mexi says, I'm not. Uh... Oop. Actually, I missed uh, Tata's lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, Lil Mexi said, I've never seen on cable. Open to watching it, though. So, Lil Mexi, you could, you could watch it on Netflix if you guys have Netflix. They have, like, a ton of episodes on there. Um, my claim to fame, I was almost on Jeopardy, but they never called me. Tell me this story, or is it, it literally that's that's the story? They just didn't call you back, unfortunately. Wait, was I supposed to get something in here? I'm like blanking out. Oh, it's just a map. Um, what do you hold a world record in? I, I I don't doubt you. I'm just I'm just curious. I'm I'm very interested because I suck at that stuff. I took the qualifier test and then went to Philly for a written test. Then on a mock show. Oh, that's awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I've uh I took the qualifier test once. Um and failed. <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. No, 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 no. It was I took the practice test, right? There's like a practice test, and I did fine on that. So I did sign up for the qualifier, however, I I missed it because I had a midterm. I was gonna go on uh, like the the college the college one, and uh, unfortunately I uh, wait no I can't get back there. Um, unfortunately I I just missed it, and I haven't tried again. But I love trivia. I do love trivia. Damn, that would have been awesome. I would have rooted for you. Oh my god, so thirsty from this. From this damn, uh. Pizza. I think 35 people were on. were at the on site test and only six of us passed it. Holy. Yeah, it's. I remember the, the, the pre test or the practice test being extremely hard. And then we split into two groups of three for a mock show that they recorded to pick people. Did did you ever get a recording of that? Like, did you ever get to keep that or no? That'd be kind of cool. Let's go left. No. They they destroyed it in the fire. The fires of Mount Doom. Actually, you don't want to kill that because they will. They are lighting up the room. Not that I really need this. Do you speed run Super Metroid by any chance? Because this is a, this is a classic old casual playthrough. Even though I, I played it a bunch of times. Oh, I'm so bad at Super Metroid. <laughs> it's different. You know, it controls much differently than a lot of um, games of that era. You know, Samus is pretty slow. But I think that's by design. Oh, that's right. I can't... We can't go this way yet, right? Or wait, can I actually... As I say, I can get through, but later on. A combo randomizer with uh, with a link to the past took me 10 hours. Wow. All right, so we can't go down there yet. That's where those little guys are waiting for us. Oh, shit. I just wasted a bunch of missiles. I think I hate this room. This is like a really long vertical room. Crunch. I 
can confirm Keeb sucks at Metroid. That's okay, I suck at a lot of things. Including Elden Ring. Why I've decided to play it, nobody knows. Yet. Yeah. Give me that save point. Can confirm Joe sucks at uh, Link to the Past. Well, so I did watch some of that, and uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was fun. It's it's cool seeing like someone who hasn't played it before, like especially since I played that many many times, and like I kind of I know where everything is. Like I wouldn't put myself at Keeb's level or anything like that, but I've you know I've played Link to the Past. It's one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time, and uh, watching Joe play it was. Uh, was pretty fun. You seem to be making your way around pretty uh, well in uh, Minish Cap. Shit. I don't know why I didn't use a missile there. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing too, Keeps. Isn't there a boss up here? Yeah. It's a mini boss. It's freaking music, though. It's like a horror movie. Sorry, we're gonna get the power bomb here. Shit! I don't want to be using the missiles. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Oh my God. I'm trying not to use save states on this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wait, Samus is a girl. <laughs> well, I just saved over there, so that's fine. I do intend to do a redemption run, a link to the past, or a link to the past, whichever one. All, all tip, or... I think you should. I think you should. You know, there are certain games that I love that when I played for the first time, I did not like them. Um, believe it or not, Chrono Trigger was one of those games. Because I originally played Chrono Trigger on the PS1, and the PS1 version sucks. Shit. I just need to refill my energy here. Okay. Now, oh, you know what? Let me just go see something real quick before I try and fight that thing. I want to go down, because there, there are items down here. Anytime there's a little dot on the map, there's an item. Shit. Well, I guess I can't get them. That's the problem. 
Except for that one. Alright, so we'll have a couple more missiles, but that's not going to do too much for me. I was hoping there would be an E-tank. Maybe there's an E-tank back there. Nah, see, we can't get that way. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's what we needed. Forgot that was even there. Let's see, I could I know I could do a wall jump here. There we go. I like how they give you this wall jump ability, but they don't like tell you that you even have it. Um until an an NPC shows you that you can do it. I always thought that was interesting. Up we go. I feel like there's a little bit of input lag. And, there, you know, it's entirely possible. Alright, let me save. being able to do something. Oh, I was just saying I couldn't I couldn't go through that door yet. There was a there was a green door down there. I wasn't able to do that. Uh, but I was also talking about the uh, the wall jump. Like they don't tell you that you have the wall jump until um you know, an NPC character, like, basically shows you how to do it, but you have it the entire time. Like, you have the ability to do it. Okay. Maybe I'll do a quick, quick save state right here, even though I don't really want to do that. Gotcha, I heard is that you couldn't wall jump until the... No, 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 no. That basically what I was saying. Yeah, you you, you got it now. I'm going to stay on this side this time. Enjoy your lurk, Keebs. Appreciate you hanging out. I oh, know he's getting mad now. He is pissed. Shit. 
Oh, I forgot about that. And we've done it. Give me a little platform to jump on. Give me all the... Down we go. We and we got the super missile. So thirsty. Oh god. Yep, he has made his presence known. Magna has arrived. Thank you for that, Redeem. Oh, shit. Okay, now I can get into the... I can get into that one door down there. Are you, uh, are you fully lit, uh, Magna? like Cyclops from the from the X-Men. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, need a need a picture. Oh, wait, isn't a uh, uh, raids uh, or raid raids up there, right? We can't we can't get up there yet. The Lich King, welcome in, my friend. How are you? Also, uh, you notice you have a um. Why can't wait? What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Maddie Brawl. <laughs> um, the Lich King. Notice you have you have a little badge next to your name, which means I think the uh, the gift sub fairy uh, came made you uh, gave you a visit, and you you have emotes now. Welcome, my badge brother. He says, "Welcome to the club. You've made it." We are playing Super Metroid tonight. Uh, Mag Magnus, obviously, he's never played this game, though. Yeah. Or if he did, it was defective or something. Uh, how are you doing, Lich King? How how's it going? How's your Friday night? Is this what you want? <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, is this what you want, Redeem? Yep, I knew. We know Lich King is here when we have the. Uh, is this what you want? And the Kevins, because he loves those two redeems. And now it's time for the Ram. Rebecca to spill her guts, so Rebecca spill your guts. Magna, Magna loves the, the guts redeem. Thank you for that redeem. 
Now it looks like the shit posting has started. <laughs> Pretty sure I can get up here, can't I? Aha! But I think you get like, you get kind of trapped though if you. Maddie, what are you doing? How's Kirby? Shit. Why does it keep going in the morph ball? Thank you for the follow, Jackie Ray Plays. Welcome on in. How's it going? And thank you, Yellow Waffle Box, for the machine gun redeem. Uh, back in the back in the mid, been a long day, just about settled in. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, do I need a? I think I need a missile for this. Magda, I remember when we played this the last time. I think you were trying to do this. The King is a big Kirby fan. Well, you know, there's a new Kirby game out. Oh yeah, happy Waffles Day. I I don't know if it's your birth... I think it's not your birthday, but it's maybe like a Waffle Day. Maybe people thought it was your birthday. But again, happy... Uh, happy times. Oh shit. I need to use a bomb up there. I can't do that. But yeah, thank you for the... Uh, but it's hard redeem uh, and the machine gun. Uh, yellow Waffle Box. <laughs> love, love. Not my birthday, but appreciate the love. Oh yeah, you, you, you always deserve the love, my friend. Don't you think otherwise? You are VIP in these communities. I'm I'm so glad that you guys like that emote. I I was uh, I'm very happy that uh, I made that one. I was proud of myself for making that one. Happy not birthday waffle. Ah! I didn't like it. All right, I can't go in there yet. But I'm gonna come down here. And if I come down here, hopefully I don't get stuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back. We're definitely gonna have to come back. Oh God. What's over here? Well, first of all, I thought there was something down there. Magda, I think we, we played this like a year ago, right? I think we, you know, we, we did it over, um, just over the Discord chat. See, now this is one, I didn't even think about it. We could have done what you were talking about with Elden Ring. Um, where, like, I could put, you know, you could be playing kind of alongside me, and I could put, like, a little screen with your... Like, we could both play at the same time. But we could try that with, uh, with Elden Ring, too. Oh, no! Oh God! Ooh. Shit! Forgot I was in the game. Ran off a cliff. Killed myself. Yeah, we'll be popping that on a little bit later. Problem is, I can't. How do I? How do I get over that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Grabbing dinner outside. What's for dinner? What is it? Ooh, the spacer. It's the spacer. What does that mean? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Should I keep talking like this for the rest of the stream? I thought there was a like a way to bomb down or something, but I guess not. Of course, I always love doing this. Yeah. 
No, don't. Actually, shit. I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's just basically to show you that there is something up there so you know how to get up there. Oh, he almost got me. Hmm. I have a little bit of acid. I think it's from the pizza. Right, it's a little foreshadowing. You're going to have to do something to this later in the game, which is really cool. Oh, there was something over here. Yes, that's what I thought. Shit. Oh, that's right. Raid's a, a raid. Craid is up here. That's why when you... I don't want to reveal anything, but there's something in a newer Metroid game that kind of hints at something like that, too. I think this is a save point. Oh shit. That's right, we need the barrier suit. What's that? That's right, you can't. It's just not enough. You're not fast enough yet. We're just not fast enough. <laughs> we'll have to come back. Shit. They're just siphoning my energy. But I don't have the I don't have the speed boost yet, so we will have to come back. Uh clam chowder, mozzie sticks, and the pasta combo. Is that from uh Bato's? Clam chowder. Ah, the oh the sweet uh, yeah, the diner. The diner, I won't say the name of the of this town. I forgot we are on the internet. Uh, hey, Mag uh, Magda, you remember uh, there was a there was a certain video that I recorded like almost 20 years ago um, with the Metroid, the Super Metroid fanfare when you when you load up the game. I recorded a certain video. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The old classic. <laughs> Can I imagine how bad the video quality was at that time? We just didn't realize it. It was like 240p or something. I wish we had the Mario one. <laughs> yep. I was telling somebody about that. I don't know what happened to that. I mean, I had these all digitized at one point, but... Oh, yeah! There it is! We got the high jump boots. Love Kirby. LOL. One of the highest replay value games I'll ever know. Are we talking about the first one? Because, you know, a new one came out today. Uh, did, you, did you get it, uh, Lich King? Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Not for difficulty, but for pure fun factor. We got the high jump boots now. Kirby's Adventure NES, yeah. I have that on my uh, NES Classic. I wouldn't mind, like, playing... I've never beaten that. I wouldn't mind playing through it. Hey, 
<laughs> they were assuming I wouldn't be able to get this until I got the high jump boots, but they didn't realize I was already using the, the wall jump. I will shed a tear and take a pick, probably. <laughs> was playing it on the Switch. End scenes with uh, King DDD. Yep, now I need to play it. But I think you had mentioned that before the, with the ending. It was a little bit of a tearjerker. Correct uh, punctuation necessary. Oh, yeah, obviously. Absolutely, in this stream. Only correct punctuation. It was him all along. Wait a sec, that opens up? Well, now we can go fight... Kraid, if we want to. We're ready for it. Shit. Let's go do it. Go fight Kraid. Yep, Magna, you need to uh you need to beat Dread. You need to finish it. I'm just wondering if I could watch that 60 minutes video again. You know, what would happen if I watched it? Oh shit. I was looking looking away for a second there. Look at the chat. Why? Wait, where is, um... Uh... Do I have to go back up? Oh, no, it's over here. No. Where is, uh... Kraid. Oh, Magna's got a boss. Oh, I gotta go up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I know where it is. It's time for the boss. Magna, the last thing I did in Elden Ring was fight that dragon, so I'm kind of going to be going back in blind. I meant King Day 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 needed correct punctuation so as to not insult his pure form and selfless actions. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh, I need to sit up straight. My, my seat tends to dip. Here we go. Let's fight this. The real first boss of this game. There he is in his, in his, in his lair. But they give you... Wait, did they give you the fake one first? I think so, because it's like the first game. Can head to Stormvale. Well, I'm level 36 now, so I hopefully I can go do a lot of things. I, I'm, I'm brimming with confidence now. Brimming with it. I can taste it. I can taste that Elden Ring. Shit. Oh wait, th th actually these are these are weak now to these. Need to upgrade a weapon, okay. You have no idea where to do that, but I'll find out. Say, I knew there was something going down here. <laughs> oh my god. Look at these. Look at them. Look at these space. Oh! This is the fake one. It makes you. Because the original. In the original Metroid, Kraid was like super small and stuff. And it's like, oh. Great, I just beat the boss, and it was that easy. Wrong. Of course, I give you one of these, because I want you to... I want you to power up.
Gotta pump up. Oh, they're too generous. They gave you this. They, will they be doing more pull-ups? Pulls this evening? More pulls. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a cool little detail. Look at this, like... The, you know, decaying dude. Shit. Here he is. This is Kraid. Look at him. Look at him. Ha. Oh, shit, why am I? Man, I suck. No. Shit. Come on. I'm trying to... Why can't I jump off the wall? It was a lot easier than I remember. Oh God! Wait, what? What happened to your? What happened to your? <laughs> it's happening again. Why is it doing that? His belly button. <laughs> SM graphics blow me away. I'm looking at some of this stuff for the first time. Oh, really? You haven't? You've never seen this? Yeah, this is amazing, isn't it? I think I had a store stroke. <laughs> what the hell? Why is your uh why is your your keyboard going backward? Nobody knows. Yes! My household went from NES to like PS1. It's fair. It happens. It happens. I went from NES to Super Nintendo, but I also had a Genesis, then I went to N64. Um, I didn't get a PS1 until later. I got a 64 before a PS1. And then, uh, what, I guess GBA and then PS2. Micro, stre Micro Machine stream with the king himself. Hey, Magna, what do you think? What if we did a, uh, what if we did a three-person co-op stream and Lich King he comes down for the day and we all stream what do you think three person stream what do you think I mean Lich King you're, you're, you're still you know relatively close enough I'm in Williamstown not that I should have revealed that over the internet but you know it's all good never been done uh I got the thing up there right okay I've got the Varia suit. I've got the Varia suit. My only Sega experience was the handheld one, so game, yeah, Game Gear. Played Sonic and Echo the Dolphin nonstop. Hell yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't ever much of a Sega guy, believe it or not. Um, I actually don't have great, like, I don't have fond memories with Genesis as I do with Super Nintendo. Ah! Get out of here. Oh, I gotta kill them all. Damn it. 
Otherwise, the door will not open. I never knew what to do when Echo the Doppel would just reach around the water nonstop, do a flip, and go back down to perish the simple mechanics. <laughs> I think I played that once, and I also did not know what to do. It was uh, kind of confusing. All right, let's get that save point. Let's do it. Let's save this game. Let's do it. Banana. Whoop, I do want to save. Really, you're going to make me leave the... You're going to make me leave the room, come back, because I messed it up. door now you know what that means oh god get out of here yeah give me that e-tank give it to me give me a drink hmm. oh my god it's so thirsty but water is so good so so good do that every time okay so I don't think we can go that way yet but we can go down we can go back down And now we can go over here because we won't get killed. Wait, is there anything up there? I don't think so. Nothing of note. Ooh, we don't want any of that. Uh-oh. We gotta run. We gotta run. Wait, nothing even happened. Oh, I hate I hate this room. Thank you, Degon. I will drink up. I've been quite parched from uh, Pizza Friday, so always good to have that. 
All right, can we get that missile? Can we? Now, if I want to get back up real quick, can I... I keep forgetting I can't jump with this. All right, no. What is over here? Um. Oh, I s sort of remember where I am. I gotta, I gotta freeze that. Oh yeah, I love, I love these things because they give you so much energy in like one, one swoop. I thought I could shoot through that. I guess not. The wave beam does that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can't do anything with that yet. Soon. Not yet. Alright, so if we go down... So I can't go... I think I can go down and around or something. Oh, wait. I know what this is. Never mind. I was wrong. I was completely wrong about this room. I thought there was something here. It's not. This is just to refill myself, I guess. Ooh, to do to do. Up. I like these effects though. I like this thing. Doesn't it go? I thought it starts to go down, but I'm wrong. There's there. I think there's an item in here. I there's like a missile or something. Yeah, this one goes down for some reason. Who are you? Oh, I, I know what this room is. I don't like this one. This is dumb. The Game Gear just reminded me of the Game Boy and that was the camera accessory. Man, do you remember that weird jump scare faces thing that get yeah dude the game boy camera was like way ahead of its time i think all right i know we can get up there whoa -ho -ho -ho. welcome Welcome, Raiders, and welcome, my dear friend, Odom Friendly. How are you, sir? Welcome in. We're playing Super Metroid. How's everybody doing? Uh, Link, Link, Link. <laughs> How was your stream? I, I do have you up. Now I have two tabs of myself. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Amber Link. I'm a full-time video producer, part-time streamer. We play retro stuff for the most part, but we also do weird, funny video stuff, and we we play some uh, some modern games. So we're gonna be playing uh, Elden Ring later. So uh, yeah, welcome on in, welcome on in. We're just playing Super Metroid right now because this is our Friday night retro game of the week. Uh, yeah, I'm doing doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Uh, slept uh, relatively well last night, so that's good. 
It's always good to sleep well before a night of a stream because, uh, you know, you plan to go a little bit later. Uh, but how, how's everything? I know it's late for you. I appreciate you, uh, you coming in. Do you find streaming tiring? So, uh, not really, um, but if I do it... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the King Reaches Eternal Enlightenment Redeem Magnet. That's some of the the random video stuff that I do. Um, I do make some... I didn't make that one. I just kind of pulled that from YouTube. But I do make some random video stuff for those who don't know. Uh, but yeah, welcome on in. Uh, so do I find streaming tiring? Not really, but when I work... like eight, If I work eight hours and then stream... It's a little rough, so that's why on the weekdays, um, like Monday or Thursday, I only do like two hours, just because it's, if I work on a computer all day, and then I stream for four hours after that, I'm never going to be able to sleep, so that's where I, uh, I kind of draw the line. What about you? Do you, uh, do you feel like it's tiring, or does it kind of energize you? Yeah, I'm fine. It's in the middle. Yeah, some days, some days it's it's great. Some days it can be can be a little tiring. Um, that's why I just I love like I like when I get if I get a full night's sleep before the day before, then I'm good. Uh, neither good nor bad, but it doesn't heighten how relaxed I feel. Okay. It's and it's, so it's nice to kick back and watch someone sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean that's you know with your stream. For sure, you know it's a it's always a chill environment. So sometimes I I, I do like even if I I'll lurk obviously a lot because I'm working, but sometimes I just kind of chill, uh, you know, just relax and have you on in the background, or if I'm like making uh, making breakfast, making tea, wave beam time, three hours of sleep at night. Oh, Magna, I I feel for you, brother. Okay, so. <laughs> That's one of my newer ones. Uh, yeah, Steve from Blue's Clues, man, by the end of it, he was just like, he wasn't having it. So he he, he wrote some really obscene notes for people. Um, yeah, Odom, I, I honestly, I would say 99% of the time, like if I see, 100% of the time, if I see you on, um, like during the day, like if I see it, because I get a notification on my phone while I'm working, I'll, I'll drop it and just lurk immediately just so I have you on there to help you out. Um, yeah, no problem. Absolutely. You know, I, it's the least like, I feel bad because like a lot of the streamers that I like, they, they're on, you know, especially with us, like with our time zone differences, like you got you're, you know, you're on like right when I'm working for the most part. So I, I feel bad that I, I'm, I'm not as like engaging as I would like to be, but I try to do what I can. I uh, actually sent Puffy a message earlier today, and I didn't realize he was on vacation, so I felt bad. But I was, uh, I was just messing with him a little bit. I know it. it it's okay. <laughs> Hello, Link. Long time no see. Stop it, Watercolor Val. For those who don't know, uh, Watercolor Val is Mrs. Link, <laughs> and she's literally downstairs, or maybe she's in in her. Uh, her art room. Oh, he's in Vegas? I didn't realize that. Oh, crap. That's awesome. Lady Link. Lady Link. So, uh, Odom, what's your, what's your weekend plans? Anything exciting? Uh, you gonna be streaming a little bit? Can I get... Oh, I was gonna say, can I go in there? No, I cannot. I thought there was an item in here. Wow, oh, yeah, we go up. Like I knew there was something. Uh, good, thanks. Uh, weekend, I'll play games and hang out with the cats. Hey, we know all about that. We know all about the kitty cats. 
Did I tell you we had to take down our uh, our curtains in our in our front in our living room, and then in like the back in our kitchen the curtain that we had in front of our back uh, door we had to remove both of them because the our youngest cat would jumps all the way up like she climbs all the way up it, so. Yeah, we love our kitty cats. We love them. Alright, I think I know what I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get Magnus' favorite item. I think soon. Three, four, five. Yeah! The speed booster. We did it. Oh, you have two cats or three? Okay, you have two. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, I, I knew you had two. Tell me, the, the jump to three is great. We uh, we don't regret it. Look how fast I can go. <laughs> so fast. Honestly, and, and you know, I, I can't speak for Mrs. Link, but I think like the the, the only real adjustment, to be honest with you, um, is just the amount of food that you have to buy. Like, there was no issue with, like, having more room to give more love to another cat. Like, there's that's not an issue at all. We, we love all these cats equally. Um, it's just, you know, we just, we love these cats. <laughs> yeah, more food, more poops. That, that's, that's, that's incredibly true. All right, I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. Oh yeah, absolutely. All indoor cats. We are terrified. Like, whenever we leave the house, we actually have to throw a toy so we can make sure that rain gets away from the door. We're like terrified that, that one of these cats are gonna get out. Like, it's our worst fear. We're, we, we're, we're just, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Damn, that's so close. Ah. Watercolor Val re re uh, redeemed ask an Oscar Oscar trivia question. All right, here we go. Um, does anybody know, and anybody can answer this, um, does anybody know the most recent actor to win back-to-back -back Oscars? So, like, two years in a row. Uh, I actually have a camera in my house for when I go away for a day so I can check on them. Yeah. We, we did the same thing. We had this little wise camera. It's like a little square thing um, that we set up like when we uh, when we went on vacation a couple times, um, you know, pre-COVID, obviously. Um, we would just have a little, little, little thing set up, make sure they were okay. The answer is not Nicolas Cage. Then the answer is clear. There we go, I got it! Stop, Nickelback? No. What is this Nickelback you speak of? Actually, I, I should tell the story. The Nickelback story. <laughs> me and, uh, me and Magna, we, uh, we entered into a, uh, like a film fest in 2007. And, uh... Wait, back of Nichols? Uh, no, the answer is not Morgan Freeman. Uh, think, think more beloved American actor. Think of like really beloved American actors. Not that they aren't beloved, those people that we're talking about, but can I get this? Can I? Not Oprah. It's not Oprah. Oprah was nom. She's been nominated for two Academy Awards, I believe. Shit. Yep. I think Magna's got it. Magna's got it. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau. This is definitely not Tommy Wiseau. I know who Tommy Wiseau is. Oh, hi, Mock. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Uh, I... Oh, got it. 
Uh, funny story, Odom. I met Tommy Wiseau and I got a picture with him. <laughs> True story. I don't know if I have that picture anymore, but, uh... Wait, what is happening? What is... Where's the platform? <laughs> oh, hi, Link. <laughs> Shit. 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 What, what happened to the platform? Actually, I don't know if I've ever gotten this reserve tank. This is new. Oh, hi, Link. Oh, hi, Odom. I should have a redeem that says, that tells me to talk like Tommy Wiseau for 30 minutes. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. So, for some reason, uh, Tommy Wiseau decided he was going to shoot that, that film on both film and digital video which you don't do you don't do that you typically choose one format um have to break for dinner in another room should we be back momentarily thanks lich king appreciate it appreciate it. enjoy your lurk sir and you also have the lurk uh, emote now uh don't slip in the yeezys or anything crazy while i'm gone <laughs> i'm fed up with this world Uh, yeah, so when you make a scene like that and you do it gratuitously, um, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's awkward. Um, Oda, most films have what's called an intimacy coordinator on set to basically like manage those types of situations, those types of scenes. And I'm sure there was not one on the room. There's, I can guarantee there wasn't. Shoot, where am I going now? Skeet could never. <laughs> little, little skeet skeet. Little, little Yeezys. Oh, there's a missile down here. And I didn't even know. It's funny, that movie was, like, supposed to be a, uh, like, a serious drama film. Probably, like, his masterpiece. In his eyes, of course. And it's just a pile of garbage. Oh, I didn't even go in here. Why not? Oh, it's a save point. Would you like to save? Yes. Yes, I would. Wait, Turtle Dreams was a pile of garbage. Yes, it was. I hated that. No. I'm not putting Turtle Dreams on this stream ever. <laughs> worst movie I've ever seen. I've seen some bad ones, but yeah, that's probably the worst. Oh, the, oh, the worst movie is called Hottie or the Naughty. What is that? Why have I heard of that? Watercolor Val, have you ever heard of that? Hottie or the Naughty? I think we're going the right way. I think. Oh, it's a Paris Hilton movie about how if you're not good looking, you won't get places. Well... Well, I guess I'm, uh, I'm not good looking and I haven't gotten anywhere. So maybe she's right. <laughs> then like three fourths away that, uh, this girl who isn't doing good gets a makeover. Then everything's fine. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, need to watch that clip. I sent face wet. Oh God. Let me see. Hold on. Magna sent me something. <laughs> Wait a second, this is a two minute clip. I can't watch this right now. But I have, uh, I've seen that show. That guy is pretty funny.
So I still don't have that. Where you is You only the... exist out here because of me. <laughs> Maddie, I don't know how you keep coming in here and like saying things or redeeming things, but you're streaming right now. You are streaming. I'm very confused. So I'm going to give you a hail hydrate. <laughs> He must have some downtime. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. We. <laughs> she had to get that last one out. That was the most important thing. Once she got that last one out, it was all gravy. Thank you for the maximum relief, redeem, and also the you exist out here because of me. <laughs> Odom, was that too much? She couldn't help it. Wonder, yeah, that's exactly what I, uh... <laughs> I thought the same thing. It's like, what the hell? Farted in the hallway, screamed, man, what smells like shit. <laughs> Ew. Magnus crazy. Uh-oh, I don't think I can... F I thought I couldn't fight these guys yet, but I guess I can. Wait, I think this is the... Is this the... No, never mind. I need a map. Like, give me the full map. I can. Uh, Odom, have you ever played a Metroid game? Oh, I can't do anything here yet, unfortunately. And we're running, we're jumping, we're jumping over things. Oh, I can do this. I played it years years ago, but never finished it. Not enough story. For oh, that's right. You like you do like your story. I. And then I will say that Metroid is usually pretty light on, uh, on story. And the one that they, like, actually did throw story into, everyone hated. I actually liked it, but, uh, everyone hated it. Let's go down. I thought there was a boss right here. Yep. Sure is. Shit. Basically, I just gotta get him to move backward. Get out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind playing on stream. Uh, heavy rain. Wouldn't mind going back and playing that. And doing it on stream. It's been so long since I played it. Shit. Oh yeah. Uh... It's, I think here it's called Indigo Prophecy, but I, th I thought in other areas it was called Fahrenheit. But, I, but it's from the same um, uh, Quantic Dream. The same developer as uh, Heavy Rain. Yeah! Watch, he's going to come back, though. Yeah, I, I loved Heavy Rain when it came out. I thought it was amazing. I remember I actually let... I actually allowed uh, Magna to 
borrow my PS3 because I don't think he had a PS3 at the time to play it. I was like, you have to play this. Here he comes. <sighs> I've never played Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit, though. Look at that. It was just fake. It wasn't even real. Shit. Damn it. If you're saying it's super crazy, I really want to play it now. Really, really want to play it. Um. Shoot. Can I... I do kind of want to go back because I want to see if I can make that jump. Good. Perfect. Save. I feel like I'm going a little bit out of order, but I'm okay with that. Like, just, just a tiny bit out of order. Wait, we can get up there. Ugh! Damn it. Shit. It's close. There we go. Funny story, Odom. I actually, uh... I actually beat Heavy Rain before it came out. What? How, you ask? I, uh... I worked at a video game store and we actually were able to... We, like, took things home early all the time. Um, basically, we just wouldn't ring it up. We wouldn't ring it up until the day that it came out. But, yeah, I beat it before it even came out. <laughs> I mean, it's not its not like a really long game or anything. Was, but I remember when I played it for the first time, I was like, oh my god, this is, like, an incredible experience. W that I feel like if I played it again, it probably wouldn't have the same, especially now where it's like 12 years later, it wouldn't have the same impact. Um, do they get sent to the shop like a week before or something? Yes, so what happens is shit, I can get that. I know I can get that, I think. Um, yeah, they would send it like like a week, uh, five days to a week beforehand and it would have a, it would have a like a sticker on it that said uh, street date, do not sell until whatever date. But we would, uh, if it was something that we wanted, if it was something that we wanted, we, we would take it home. So I actually, uh, the same thing with the Nintendo Wii, I got that a week before it came out. <laughs> I was playing it a week before it came out. I was playing Twilight Princess a week before it came out. Um, I think that was the last system I was able to do that on. All right, so we have the power bomb, which I feel like we got it super, super early. Um, I think that's all we can do in here. I'm just gonna go save real quick. Um, also, through this same video game store, I got a DSi for free for like some some contest, some like sales contest. I got a DSi. Uh, I got a free copy of Gears of War. I think that's that's pretty much it. Oh, and another cool thing that would happen at video game stores is someone would come in with like a they'd like trade in something, um, especially like like an old PS One RPG, right? But in the computer system, like they were worth like pennies. So instead of giving them pennies, I would just you know, I'd pay them like five bucks and they'd be like, yeah, I'll, oh, sure, I'll take that. I'd give them like five bucks out of my own money. So I got, um, I got Legend of Mana for PS1 for like, for five bucks. Like in, like complete in the case, uh, perfect condition. 
Um, same thing with the Zelda Collector's Edition on uh, on GameCube. I was able to get that for like five bucks or maybe ten bucks, I think it was. So, yeah, working at a game store, there's like, it was it was pretty fun. Um, I mean, of course, you had to like sell stuff, and you didn't want to deal with like upper management bull bullshit, but. It really wasn't bad. That's too bad. Um, any other good stories? Yeah. Um, let me try to think of one. I had a guy basically like, I got some weird stories. I'll be honest with you too. Um, I'll tell you. Like, I'll tell you a couple good ones first though. I had a um. Now maybe I won't tell this one. It's gonna make me seem like I'm like bragging about myself. I'm really not. But I had a um. I had a, a really good memory, which seems to be getting worse as I get older. Um, but I was able to, we had, um, we had customer accounts, like basically like a person would have account in the, uh, oh, stop, stop it, Maddie, And stop, stop chatting if you're streaming. Um, but we had, we had customer accounts so they could like keep their store credit and stuff in there. And I, I would I worked at this store for for a long amount of time where I got to like know people's names like when they walked in I could pull up their account without them uh, even realizing it and sometimes it would be someone who like would come in like twice a year and I would be able to pull up their account and they'd be like oh my god how'd you remember my name and then they would because of that they would like buy more stuff or they would say yes to like all the sales pitches that I was giving them so I'm like Okay, I'm going to keep doing that. Um, also, there was a guy who basically uh, almost like OD'd in the store. He came and was like... He had a, an exploding, like, bloody nose all over the floor and said like, Oh yeah, I've been, I've been sick with a cold all week. I'm like, no, that's not, that's not what that is. That's something else, sir. And literally, like, sprayed blood all over the, uh... The floor. <laughs> and I had to clean it up. Alright, so I can't get up there yet without the grapple beam. I wish I could leave, like, a marker. Um... I'm trying to think of any other like good sort. I'm sure something will come to mind. And I bet he didn't get any sort of fine. No, not at all. He just like I can't remember why he was in there. He was like trading in something. I can vaguely remember what he looked like, but I don't remember. Yeah, you know, right? Like, thankfully, it didn't. It was like in like the middle of the floor area, so we were okay. But it was still like disgusting. And I'm like, oh my god, what? the hell just happened okay oh wait I can go looks like I can go down over there so I'm gonna go back and down because I think that... do 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 Oh, here's another good one. Um, there was one customer who I must have made her upset. She came in with a kid. Um, she would come in with a kid all the time. I remember her name and everything. I won't, I won't say her name, but um, I must have done something where I didn't, I wasn't able to take a game because it was like all scratched up or something or something was wrong with it. So I refused to take a game because that's what we were supposed to do. And, uh, this must have happened more than once because she came in again, but I wasn't there. And she referred to me to the other employees as the Harry, like, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that Harry Potter bastard. <laughs> um, which I thought was really hilarious. And there is a, there is like a happy end to this. 
she ended up being really like she ended up liking me a lot like later on because i i was really nice to her i don't re i don't recall ever being like i definitely wasn't mean to her or anything i just i think um i must have just not been able to take something oh shit that's not gonna work I'm, that's not gonna work i can't do that but yeah she referred to me as the harry potter bastard and uh that became like a little nickname for a while <laughs> Which I'm okay with. It's all good. I don't know who this Harry Potter person is, but... We can open doors now. You could have made that story really funny. And, and, that, and that's how I met my wife. <laughs> uh, no, that's not how I met Mrs. Link, but... Uh, no, Mrs. Link didn't know me until well after I was done working at, at Game Crazy. Uh, are you familiar with, uh, with Match.com at all? It's a, uh, it's a dating site in the United States. Yeah, so that's how that happened. But there is a little bit of a unique story around that. Um, I was not planning on dating or anything and um i had actually uh, my account was uh was inactive my match account because match at least at the time this was 2014 match was a pay only account like you had to pay for it to use it yeah like a subscription or whatever and um wait a second am i missing something or was that the, um and I received an email. I received an email that said, you have a new message from, and I guess it showed like part of the name, but I couldn't see who, the entire name. And, uh... oh, that's where I went. To read the message, I had to renew my account. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. So I could have easily just like not done anything and let that slide and probably would never have seen the message and just like not But I did renew the I did renew the subscription for a month and I did read the message and it ended up being her and That's kind of where it started So And she's stuck with me now lucky her <laughs> <laughs> Lucky her. She is lucky. Look at you. Oh, I don't know about that. Where is that? Oh, I'll find it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but thank you, Odom. I appreciate that. I can only dream to be as suave and debonair as you one day. That's what I aspire to be. Wait, we already did this. I already did all of this. All right. Um, um, <laughs> no. Nah, I think you just, you need to look in the mirror more. See what's there. I think I may have asked you, are you, are you married, uh, Odom, if you don't mind me asking? I, I feel like I have either seen you talking to someone during your streams um the <laughs> mirror would probably crack if i looked at it no no it would not what is that up there do i want to check that out again okay very cool very cool yeah, six six years that's great Oh, 
Oh, it's literally just this, which I don't even need to do. Okay. Ooh, not yet. I see you. I took, when I proposed to Mrs. Link, I took her to a, to a spot where she basically couldn't run away. And she was forced to say yes, so she said yes. It's a per perfect plan. Never been better. <laughs> I'm just wondering, what is that down there? That little spot. There's an area. Hopefully it wasn't at gunpoint. Well. <laughs> no. So speaking of like, you know, weddings and being married, we are, we are trying. We're like fingers crossed, right? Possibly thinking like maybe Japan will be open by Christmas and we're going to actually go for like Christmas, New Year's, which will be really interesting. Um, obviously it's not open right now for tourists, but we're, uh, we're, th you know, yeah. We're like, we're just so, it's not like we're over COVID or anything. It's like, you know, we understand it's still, you know, it's still real. It's not like it's fake or anything, but um, we just, we see all of our, we see like a lot of our coworkers that are going on vacation and like have gone to like other countries. And it's like, we, we, we want to have our honeymoon finally. It's been, oh, you know, it's been two years. It'll actually be on the, on Sunday, it'll be two years since we should have gone. When you said you were trying, I was prepared to say congrats for another reason. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean like 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 a like a kid, perhaps? Uh, we ha we have three children. There are three cats. Uh, how much leave do you get from your job? I think what do I get? Like, th I want to say three weeks or something. Three weeks here. It's not it's not great. You know, the United States does not have great vacation policies, especially if you're not a full time worker. Uh, I mean, I am a full time worker, but I'm just talking about like. If you're a part-time worker, it's basically if you don't work, you don't get paid, so that sucks. Yeah, there there isn't um it depends on the company, honestly. It's it's up to the discretion of the company. That's the worst part of it. There's no like standard uh, in UK there's a minimum. How how much is it again? And that's yeah, that's like awesome. Like and I'm very jealous. <laughs> Yeah, we made it. Wait, do we want to go down here? In the United States, there is a culture of um, overwork, unfortunately. Oh, I think the ice beam's down here. It's got to be. But yeah, there's a culture of overwork. People almost wear the overwork like a badge of honor. Like, oh, yeah, I'm working over the weekend. Like, but it's finally, especially with COVID, like there's been a spotlight put on that, how like awful that is. And uh, companies on the outside act like they're they care but for the most part really don't give a shit uh, I mean I worked for a company that basically would work work you into the ground and as long as you did it they didn't say anything you know you had to you basically had to speak up for yourself and it, and if you did which I did they'd be like well we don't have we don't have enough resources to get you more people so it's like okay well what am I gonna do not get not get my work done so i just killed myself to get things done it was terrible um that's why i have insomnia now never had any trouble sleeping until i worked for this company not the company that i'm with now but this was my previous one
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yep. Uh, no, the the company I'm with now is not is not like that. Now we have a um we have a team of nine. Um. Uh, there's four of us video production managers. Um, there's two video production or video directors. There's one VP. Uh, there's a project manager. So we're like, we're in a situation where if I needed a day off, you know, someone can definitely cover me. If someone else needs a day off, I can definitely cover them. It's not a situation where like, oh no, you can't take time off. It's not like that at all. Where before I was running a small video studio, uh, for a scientific company and it was just three of us but I was in charge and basically they could only work 40 hours because they, they, they were both contractors and I was the only full-time person so anytime like something needed to get done I had to work overtime to do it and because I was I'm salaried is what it's called I don't get overtime pay I just I get paid 40 hours if I work 70 hours, I get paid 40 hours. If I work 40 hours, I get paid 40 hours. If I work 100 hours, I get paid 40 hours. So it's like, there's nothing I can do. Shoot, I don't, I didn't need to go there. But I do need a save point. So, cause we are going to be switching over to Elden Ring in a, in a moment here. I think we've made some nice progress, a nice little dent into uh, Super Metroid so far. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty lucky now that I'm not worked into the ground. And if I am in the position of looking for another job in the future or, you know, I decide to leave, um, I will definitely make it a point to look for companies, uh, feel out the cultures that don't overwork. They're, they're employees. Like, if it seems like there's a culture of overwork, I'm that's not a company I'm going to be a part of. It's just not going to happen. All right, so we have saved. And what we're going to do, just if you guys want to give me a few minutes, I'm going to go I'm going to go to my beer right back screen. I'm going to get some more water and I'm going to I'm going to switch out to Elden Ring and then we're going to we're going to go explore explore that for a bit. So that should be fun. So yeah, stick stick with me if you can. I'll be I'll be back in a few moments. <laughs> 